Hello, folks. This is Kiki. Uh, doing uh, uh, Iron Sword of Three Challenge, second attempt. Uh, the first attempt didn't work because uh, I messed up being a goit, so now I've changed it to uh, this Fesex, F C E U X version 2. Anyway, uh, now you're saying, well, why do you have Iron Sword 2 footage if you're doing Iron Sword 3? Well, that's because the intro to Iron Sword 3 is Iron Sword 2. Uh, basically, uh, Kuros has a lot of issues uh, with these stupid little retarded elementals. And they actually make fun of this in uh, the beginning of uh, Wizards and Warriors 3. Just to say, hey, we know we are a bunch of dang jerk jerk-offs who knew that they wanted to make it intentionally hard. That we even made light of it on the second version, on the one right after this, the sequel. No. Well, anyway, this is my attempt at Ice Fire Mountain. Using uh, Kikosuke's password, uh, I did ask for permission to use uh, his password, and he did uh, give, grant me his permission, so uh, for those who say, oh, you, you, stole, you stole this, you stole that, well, uh, too bad. I asked for permission, so nah. Um, I will put in a link to uh, his video uh, doing Ice Fire Mountain uh, for those who want to see. But this was the exact password that he used, and I figured I would take a challenge of it just to make fun of how ridiculously hard Ice Fire Mountain is, and why they make fun of it in Iron Sword 3. <laughs> so, anyway, now we're back to Iron Sword 3. Uh, Kuros Visions of Power. Uh, this takes place immediately right after uh, Iron Sword 2. Uh, and basically they have a lot of new gameplay elements to it. Uh, one is you can be a wizard and you can be a thief. Uh, so... Anyway, after a long and furious battle, the Valiant Kuros, or Kuros believed he had destroyed the evil Malkil. But unfortunately, he's a goit, and unfortunately, being a douche that he is, he says, no, uh, you're dying. Too bad. Lose, uh, lose your shiny new iron sword, and lose your hat. You fail. Go away. Ha 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 ha. Uh, but unfortunately, the wizard realized that he was too weak, so he ran the beat ball. Stay there and head around and gain uh, gain his power back slowly. And they even show him having a little grin and going, "Ha ha ha! I'm going to get you." Uh, and uh, then it comes back to Kuros, uh, and he was lost in a harsh wilderness trying to get uh, some place to go. He's hungry, he's cold, he's tired, and as I said before, he, he uh, lost his hat, and he lost his sword, but it makes no sense why they gave him his sword the instant that he went back into the game. Maybe he found a hat somewhere, who knows. But uh, the theory is that, uh, well, who really knows, but at least that shows how he gets his sword back, or one of his swords back, so, yeah. Now that Knockhill has finally regained some of his power, uh, he's decided to take back, take the king, good King James, and lock him up and uh, steal his throne. And he also is a douche there and uses the same cheesy ball attack. <laughs> so the king runs off, and Kuros finally makes it to Pip Pop. <laughs> But unfortunately, his challenges just began. And uh, here we are. We are now in Beerpulp. Uh, basically, this will be a uh, no tool assist, no uh, save state abusing uh, LP. Uh, 
basically the only time I'll be using a uh, save state is for recording breaks because uh, files can get up to one to two gigs in recording size and my comp only has about six gigabytes free at the moment which means it'll be a good one or two videos and then I have to stop it. Uh, but, uh, anyway, the other gameplay element here is that each area has a uh, clothing order or, you know, fashion Nazi to it. Uh, basically, if you're a wizard here or if you're a knight here, Curse's normal curse, curse self, uh, the mobs start attacking you. But I guess they like curls enough to where they just leave them alone, so I mean. Uh, but once you become a knight, you have to use thief or you'll start getting hit by everything inside. Uh, the castle is knight, and uh, the underground uh, knight is usually where they leave you alone the most, but uh, you can use thief to run around and stuff. Uh, shop peeps are also clothing Nazis. Get you can get, can get annoying to the point where you want to use your your ass spell uh, that you wish you had it from uh, Wizards of Warriors 2 where you just cast uh, snakes at them and make them sh run around and throw a meat at you. But unfortunately we can't, so yeah. uh, Basically I always get to a uh, silver thief statue first. Rather than the uh, bronze sleeves first, because I'm full health and nothing. Uh, it just takes one annoying boss fight out of the way because he's really simple. Uh, the emulator kind of nerfed his attacks weirdly. Uh, if you play it on a different emulator, he actually attacks different. So I have no idea why it's easier on this emulator. But, uh, like I said, that's the emulator. I can't really do much, much about that one. And there's a uh, silver one. There's one for knights, there's one for thieves, and there's one for sorcerers. But, uh, basically, now we go get the bronze. first noob trap. Uh, basically, if you don't, I mean, if you just run around and bought all keys without saving anything, in other words, if you grabbed everything that was in sight, uh, you would have no way to heal yourself after this, which is why you only want four keys for this. Uh, because if you lose, you lose a little bit of health, and then eventually you'll die. So, yeah. And here's another tricky part here, is you just jump off there, and boom. Uh, if you stayed up top, that's, that was a noob trap for you. Uh, and you fight all the statues. Uh, basically, each statue has its own attack pattern. Uh, if you stay just in s outside of its range for the bronze statues, uh, they'll leave you alone other than night. And, uh, the thief is the harder ones of all the statues uh, to uh, get. You'll see. Well, you'll see why later on. Uh, but anyway, that's the uh, bronze thief. So now we are level one thief. We get a thousand money just for that. And this will be Kiki signing out for us. Play Wizards and Warriors three. Thank you.